Hello, today let's discuss nested for loop in Java. Here we are discussing write a program to display following pattern using for loop. Now this is the pattern which we want to generate. For that we are writing Java code. So this is our pattern. This pattern let's visualize in a tabular form. There are rows and columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 rows and 5 columns are there. Now we want to develop a logic to write this code. So here for first row we have star in a first column. For second row i is equal to 2 we have 2 stars. That means for i is equal to 2, we have star in column 1 and 2 also. Now when i is equal to 3, third row, we have 3 stars. That means we have star in column 1, 2 and 3 also. Similarly, when fourth row is there, there are 4 stars. That means for fourth row, there is a star in a four columns. I is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, for fifth row, there is a star in a fifth column. So first to write a for loop, we have to discuss what is the relation between rows and columns. When I is equal to 1, star for which number of columns? When I is equal to 2, there is a star for which number of columns? So we have to find the relation between i and j rows and columns for which star appears. So here if you observe for i is equal to 1, j is also 1 where there is a star. For i is equal to 2, we have 2 stars when j is 2. That means when i is equal to j, that number of stars is required in that particular row. Now let's develop logic. I represent number of rows, J represent number of columns. So here this is an outer for loop where this I is for the number of rows and inside for loop is for the columns. For I is equal to 1, we have condition J is equal to 1, J less than or equal to I. Why J less than or equal to I? Because star appears for the same number of i and for the column. That's why j is less than or equal to 1 and j++ plus plus. and we are printing star here. And outside this loop we are taking system.out.println so that the cursor will come to the new line after printing star in this first row. Now for first for i is equal to 1. This j varies from j is equal to 1 to i value. i value is 1 means j is also 1. That means this first star get printed here. Now when j get increased it becomes 2 and this condition not satisfied. So cursor or control will come out of this loop. So again it will come here. It will increase the i value that means i becomes 2. Now it is less than 5 so it will come inside this loop. Again j is 1 now and here i value is 2. So j is equal to 1. It satisfies the condition. It will come inside the loop and it will print value star for i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 1 that means here. Now j get increase. Again it will check the condition. j is 2 and our i value is also 2. So it satisfies the condition. It will come inside. Print this star. That means for i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 2. We get this star. Then j get increase. j becomes 3. Now j is 3 and i is 2. So it will not satisfy the condition. It will come outside this for loop. That means here. And this 
system.out.println takes the cursor to the new line and then i get increment. So for i is equal to 2, j value varies from j is equal to 1 and 2. Now i get increment, i is equal to 3. Again j varies from 1, 2, 3 because j is less than equal to i. i is 3 so j value varies from 1, 2, 3. For each j value it print the star. Similarly for i is equal to 4, j varies from 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 stars we will get at the 4th row. And this print ln statement takes the cursor to the new line and i value get increment. That's why for i is equal to 5, j varies for same value of i means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So like this we can print this pattern and this is the code. Class pattern that's why the name of the file will put pattern 1.java. Then public static wide main statement and this is our logic. For loop row represent i, i varies from 1 to 5. Inside loop j varies from 1 to number of i and it will print star for each j loop and once this j loop complete it will take the cursor to the new line and increment the i value. Similarly we can check other patterns also if this is the pattern. So every time remember check the logic between a relation between number of rows and column for which star appear. Let's say this outer loop i variable represent number of rows it varies from 1 to 5 and this inner loop represent j that is column and how it varies we will check. For i is equal to 1 the control will come inside as this condition gets satisfied i value is less than 5. Now for this for loop j is equal to 5 and this condition is j greater than i. Our i value is 1. So 5 greater than 1 it will come inside print it again i get de decrement that is i becomes 4. Now this condition satisfied it will print the star. Then again j value get decrement 3 this condition satisfies 3 is greater than 1 i is 1. Again it will print star then j get decrement again it will print star j get decrement j is now 1 1 greater than equal to 1 so it satisfied it prints star now j becomes 0 it get decrement if this condition not satisfied it will come outside this inner loop and it will execute this system.out.println statement it takes the cursor to the new line and control will come here it increment the i value that means i becomes 2. Now again this 2 is less than 5 it will come inside and j becomes 5. j is 5, 5 greater than now i is 2, 5 greater than 2 that's why it will execute this statement and we will get star here. Now 5 j get decrement that is 4, 4 is greater than 2 Again we will get star, j get decrement, j is 3 now, 3 is greater than equal to 2, again we will get star, now j is 2, j is 2, 2 greater than equal to i is also 2, so this condition satisfy, we, this statement get executed and we will get star here. Now j becomes 1, 1 is not greater than equal to 2, this condition not satisfied, the control will come outside this loop, this statement get executed and i value get increment that is 3. Similarly, now j varies from 5, 4 up to 3, i is 3. So, we will get 3 star. Similarly, when i is equal to 4, this loop varies from 5, 4 that means 2 star we will get. Now i is 5, j is 5, 5 
greater than equal to 5. We will get only 1 star here. So this pattern we will get after executing this code. Now you can try other patterns also. This is the simplest one. For i is equal to 1, j varies from 1 to 5. i is equal to 2, again j varies from 1 to 5. For every row, for every value of i, j varies from 1 to 5. So the logic is, for every value of i, j also varies from 1 to 5. Let's execute the code. For that, I will open notepad, where I have already written this code. So this is import java.lan, import java.util, then public class pattern1. That's why the name of file is pattern1.java, public static wide main. And here i varies from 1 to 5 and j also varies from 1 to 5. For inner loop, we are printing star. Then outer loop, we are taking the control to the new line by system.out.println. Let's execute this code. I will open command prompt. Java C first. Java C compile this pattern.java. Now execute it. Java pattern 1 will get this pattern. 5 number of rows, 5 number of columns. Now see the change. If I will change the logic here. Outer loop there are 5 rows. Now inner loop I will change this. J where it's from. 1 to j less than equal to i. Save it. Now again I will open command prompt and execute this code. Java C pattern 1 dot Java and execute it. You will get this pattern. Like this. Again I will change the logic. Here I will change j varies from 5 and j is greater than equal to i is the condition and here i will decrement the value of j save it again i will execute it first java c compile it and then execute it and this is the output so just Checking the relation between number of rows and column i and j, we are getting different pattern. This one, this is and one more pattern, this one. So relation between i and j and what you want to print decides your pattern. So this is an example of nested for loop in Java. Thank you.